I'd like to introduce to you Elisa Mekla, um, who is going to present her full paper called Viewpoints, Levels, and Leaderboards Harm Intrinsic Motivation, an empirical analysis of common gamification elements. And she's from the University of Basel. Take it away, Elisa. Thank you, Lena. Um, so, um, thank you for having me here. And, uh, well, welcome to my talk on Dew Points, Levels, and Leaderboards Harm Intrinsic Motivation. A uh, little experiment we conducted at the Center for Cognitive Psychology and Methodology at the University of Basel. And um, so, first of all, all of you are <laughs> well aware that gamification is often associated with just slapping on points, a leveling system, or, or a leaderboard onto a, a non-game application in order to, to drive user engagement. And um, the Opinions, uh, they, they, um, yeah, they, they, are, they contrast quite often. So on the one side, we are with the proponents of this form of gamification, like Gabe Zickerman, who actually considers these very basic game element the heart of any gaming system. While on the other hand, we've got um, people like game designer Margaret Robertson, who, um, who uh, say that uh, these kinds of elements are basically the, the things that are least essential to uh, what makes games enjoyable. And um, in fact, there is uh, ample ev evidence in uh, psychological research that um, handing out rewards, this uh, may be in form of uh, monetary rewards, but also uh, gifts, or uh, even just kind of uh, awarding things that not necessarily have a value uh, by themselves, for example, like gold stars or ribbons or whatever for uh, engaging in activity will um, in fact lower people's intrinsic motivation to engage in a certain activity. And um, I'm sure most of you are, um, well, know, have uh, already heard of intrinsic motivation of self-determinating theory, which uh, guided our research and of uh, one of its sub-theories, cognitive evaluation theory, and basically, um, what intrinsic motivation means is um, to engage in an activity because we find it interesting or enjoyable, as opposed to extrinsic motivation, where we engage in activity because we are uh, forced to do so or because we get something in return, not because we find the activity interesting. And uh, intrinsic motivation, of course, is, is interesting for, for us and uh, for the design of gamified ap applications because it's often also associated with sustained engagement. Um, and uh, cognitive evaluation theory posits that, um, that there are two uh, psychological needs which uh, kind of determine whether we find something intrinsically motivating or not. And uh, one of them is autonomy, where we feel that our actions are, the, are our choice. And uh, competence, where we feel that uh, our actions have an impact on our surroundings. And just to kind of put this all together, what this means for rewards and uh, game elements, it just means that um, rewards, while they might be perceived as information, oh boy, it's kind of, well, it ripped this a bit apart, but that's all right. Um, while rewards uh, may be seen as a kind of feedback and uh, thereby um, increase competence and hence increase intrinsic motivation, often, they are perceived as uh, controlling due to uh, different circumstances, such as a social context, if we feel that um, a reward kind of shows how well we did and people may judge us on our performance, then of course we will feel less autonomy and thereby also be less inclined to engage in the activity in the future. And um, well, as a psychologist and also as a gamer, this uh, seems quite intuitive to me because um, I have had my fair share of experiences where um, I, I've got turned off by a game just because I felt it manipulated me into, into min-maxing for, for uh, getting a certain reward in the game and I just spent lots and lots of time to get the reward but then I just kind of felt very hollow and empty in the end. <laughs> I never touched the game again. <laughs> and um, the thing is, Although this is very much, uh, we often speak about how, how uh, points, levels, and leaderboards uh, may pose uh, uh, 
threat to intrinsic motivation, there is, as of now, uh, very little empirical evidence that um, has shown that this is true. So this is where our study comes in. And um, well, based on, on uh, uh, existing research, which uh, you can look up in our paper, um, we, uh, we, well, we um, form two hypotheses. Uh, one that um, using points, <coughs> levels, and leaderboards in a simple image annotation task, which I'll explain in just in a moment, um, will increase performance. And the second, that, uh, that using these uh, basic game elements would decrease intrinsic motivation to engage in this task compared to a control condition which um, used no game elements. And so just a, about what kind of task did we use? Um, we used an well, a image annotation task. We had a bunch of paintings and asked people to uh, describe the effective content, so the, what kind of mood did the paintings evoke. And from uh, previous studies, we know that most people actually enjoy this kind of task when they are asked to um, tag their paintings according to, to uh, the, the emotions they evoke. And uh, what you see here, let's see if this thing, oops, well, I just allow me to move over then. <laughs> um, what you see here, well, so some of the conditions, so the basic condition had no game elements at all. Um, some just had points, so the more tags people entered, the more points they got. Um, it was uh, the same amount of points, well, 100 points for one tag, that's it. And um, then we had uh, this kind of very basic leaderboard um, where people, um, well, the more points they got, they, and it was a fake leaderboard, actually. People thought it was a real one, but it was a fake one because we wanted to give everybody the same chances where they could just um, see how, they, how well they did uh, compared to those other fictional um, <laughs> participants. And lastly, we had the leveling system. So we, we call it a rank here, which actually mimicked the leaderboard, but um, just without this uh, pseudo-social component, if you want. And um, so yeah, we had a between subject design. People were assigned to one of the four conditions, so either the control condition, the, just the points, or the uh, levels or leaderboard condition. And we checked how many tags did they generate. They all had the same amount of pictures to tag. And uh, we also measured their uh, intrinsic motivation with a self-reporting scale, the intrinsic motivation inventory. And also we measured not just intrinsic motivation, but also <coughs> autonomy and competence need satisfaction. And uh, we had nearly 300 participants. The, the range, age range was uh, quite diverse. We, we, had, well, we had much more females um, than males, but we didn't find any differences. So um, sh we shall not dwell upon this. So what did we find? Um, well, so age one was uh, confirmed because we indeed uh, found that game elements um, significantly uh, increased the performance in the image annotation task when by uh, performance we mean the amount of tags generated, not necessarily the quality, although we, we um, remo removed all the, all the, yeah, <laughs> let's put it informally, all the crappy, all the, the cheating tags. And um, we still found that uh, giving points, and especially the leaderboard and the uh, level conditions uh, increased this, uh, the amount of tags generated. Um, however, much to our surprise, we did not find any effects on the game elements, on intrinsic motivation, or the uh, satisfaction or frustration of uh, autonomy and competence needs. So, um, well, it, it really didn't depend if people got points or not. They all found the task uh, quite interesting. Not overtly so, but they all kind of enjoyed the task. Um, but yeah, we did not find that, um, could not find evidence that points by themselves or all the other game elements uh, would be harmful to intrinsic motivation. Um, so this, um, well of course, we were quite surprised and we were scrambling for, for explanations for these results. And um, so, because I mean, we, we still found effects, it still 
something happened here because we, we had these the, this, um, people did more, they uh, generated more tags, even though they did not find the task more or less interesting. So we just assume um, that these game elements are commonly also defined as goal metrics in games because uh, they, they give us information on how well we do in a task and or how much more do we have to do to get to the next level or however. And um, goal, um, well, research on goal setting in psychology says that, um, well, giving a goal, an explicit goal, is always better than giving no goal because uh, people have something to strive for like this. And so we, we just assume, so game elements probably are some kind, yeah, they, they work also in a non-game context as a form of uh, progress indicator, goal indicator. And yeah. Uh, more importantly, um, well, why was there no effect on intrinsic motivation? The problem is with having no effect is, of course, yeah, it's always very hard to say what exactly happened, but we, we had a, a few um, ideas and well, first of all, well, maybe points, levels and leaderboards by themselves not don't really do it for people. I, I, if maybe if they um, would have uh, um, competed against friends or strangers or they knew they would have been judged on their performance, then maybe it could have uh, been detrimental to intrinsic motivation. Um, also, the leaderboard was anonymous. Um, so people after, in the leaderboard condition, after they completed the study, they uh, could enter their nickname and, um, well, that's it, <laughs> never to be seen again, basically. So the stakes were not very high for people. And, um, yeah, last of, lastly, uh, people, it was an online study and people could um, participate in the study from, from um, well, at home. They were all safe and cozy. So. Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why perhaps these game elements were not perceived as controlling and thereby did not um, threaten their need for autonomy and hence have no detrimental effect on intrinsic motivation. So um, in conclusion, uh, well, much more research is necessary on uh, under what circumstances and how exactly these uh, basic game elements, w which I mean still are very prevalent in gamified applications, um, what effects they have on intrinsic motivation, um, especially in the long term, because our study was a 20 minute study. You know, 20 minutes is <laughs> it's a very uh, short duration, so who knows what happens if you, if you do a long term study. And, but second, it seems, and this is interesting, that even though it might not really affect uh, people's uh, intrinsic motivation uh, in an activity, um, it still seems to have its, its merits, at, at least in the short term, to um, um, boost performance in a very simple task. So um, that's it from, from me. Um, so I'd be happy to receive your questions. Thank you.